The method I'm about to share is useful for every AI tool. You can apply this workflow to any AI tool. If you want to use VEO3 for free, you can watch this video and use VEO3 for free. We'll first create prompts, then generate images, and finally convert those images into videos. You can also skip the image part and use prompts directly to generate videos, but I'll explain why doing it step by step is often better. Start by opening ChatGPT. We'll also be using Gemini later on. First, ask ChatGPT to generate an image of a young man or any character you want. Just enter the appearance details you have in mind. ChatGPT will give you a prompt to create a base image of your character. If you don't like it, you can regenerate or make changes until you're satisfied. Once you're happy with the character, ask ChatGPT to give you a complete description of the person in paragraph format. This includes details like hair, eyes, outfit, expression, background, and any unique features. But we need it in paragraph format. Save both the base image and this character appearance description, you'll need them to maintain consistency later. Now, here's the issue. ChatGPT currently allows only three image generations per day. That's not enough for our workflow. So instead, we'll focus on using ChatGPT to generate detailed prompts for consistent images. Ask ChatGPT to give you a prompt of the same person doing whatever you want, for example, walking, sitting, smiling, etc., and choose your desired style, realistic, anime, cinematic, etc. But be careful. Sometimes, ChatGPT doesn't include the full face details in the prompt. If that happens, edit the prompt and ask it to include the complete facial appearance. This step is important to keep the character consistent. Once you have the complete prompt, it's time to generate images. Search Google Image Generator and open ImageFX. Paste your prompt here. Make sure to lock the seed, this will maintain consistency between images. Now hit generate. The results may not be perfect at first. If they're not good, go back to ChatGPT, ask for a better prompt with more facial detail. Then come back to ImageFX and try again, keep the seed locked. When done right, the image should look perfect and consistent with your base character. Now let's create a video from this image. Open Flow. And create a new project. Switch to Frames to Video. Click the plus icon and upload your image. Then enter the motion or audio you want. You can describe movements like walking forward, head turning, smiling, etc. Choose your preferred model and hit generate. Your video will be ready. But note that Flow might not generate audio automatically in this step. Let's try another tool, Whisk. Click Add Images and upload your base image. Then enter the same prompt. Again, lock the seed and hit Generate. You'll notice that the ImageFX results were better than Whisk. However, in ImageFX, you can't upload a base image, you can only use the prompt. That's why each tool has its pros and cons. Let's generate another image using Whisk. Here is Animate button that you can use to directly animate it. At the bottom, there's an option to enter motion details. Use the same motion details we used in Flow for comparison. One thing to note, Whisk uses only VEO2, so there will be no audio in the final video. Now let's try Gemini. 
Copy your base prompt and paste it into Gemini. The image will be generated, but it may not be as good as ChatGPT's output. Still, it's free, so it's an option when you run out of ChatGPT credits. Then take your prompts from ChatGPT and paste them into Gemini for image generation. The results are pretty similar, and again, the consistency depends on how detailed your prompt is. Let's generate another image using Gemini. By enabling the video option in Gemini, you can also use Gemini to generate videos directly. I prefer Flow over Gemini because it offers more flexibility and better customization. Now, let's generate a video directly from a prompt without using any image. Copy your prompt from ChatGPT. Open flow and switch to text to video mode. Enter the prompt, choose your model, and hit generate. The consistency will be maintained, and this time, audio will also be generated automatically. But here's the key issue with direct generation, it gives you less control. You can't choose between different image angles or styles. Also, it consumes more credits. When you generate images first, you can choose from four different angles, and then animate the one you like best. This gives you better results and helps you save credits. Let's try a second prompt now, and repeat the process. Key takeaway, always use ChatGPT for prompt creation. It gives you more control, flexibility, and better consistency. And that's it for today. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more AI tips and tutorials. All the prompts used in this video are linked in the description below. See you in the next one.